19 Famous People Who Warned Us About Meghan Markle Before Meghan Markle became a household name, there were whispers, warnings, and red flags. From Hollywood insiders to royal confidants, many saw the storm coming before the rest of us did. But why? What did they see that we didn't? In this video, we'll uncover 19 of the shocking warnings and insights from celebrities who had their doubts about Meghan Markle long before the drama unfolded. Trust me, you don't want to miss what they had to say. Number 1. Pierce Morgan Let's start with Pierce Morgan, a name synonymous with outspoken opinions. Pierce, a renowned British media personality, has been one of Meghan's most vocal critics. But his criticisms aren't baseless. They're rooted in his personal experiences with Meghan. Pierce claims that he and Meghan had a brief friendship which included sharing drinks and conversations. However, after Meghan met Prince Harry, Pierce alleges that she ghosted him, cutting off all contact. He's often spoken about feeling used and discarded once Meghan climbed higher on the social ladder. His public takedowns of her actions and decisions, especially her interviews and statements after stepping back from royal duties, paint a picture of someone who feels betrayed. Pierce believes Meghan's departure from him reflects a pattern of behavior, using people as stepping stones and discarding them when they're no longer needed. Whether you agree with Pierce or not, his warnings about Meghan have been consistent and loud. Number 2. Samantha Markle Next up is Samantha Markle, Meghan's estranged half-sister. Long before Meghan became a duchess, Samantha was already warning the public about her. Samantha has described Meghan as selfish and manipulative, accusing her of abandoning her family and creating a false image of herself. According to Samantha, Meghan's public persona as a compassionate and caring individual is far from the reality she experienced. She's accused Meghan of being dismissive of her father and other family members, raising questions about Meghan's authenticity. Samantha's criticisms have often been brushed aside by those who see her as just a bitter sibling but the consistency and intensity of her warnings make them hard to ignore. She's painted Meghan as someone who's willing to cut ties without a second thought, and while some may view this as self-preservation, Samantha sees it as cold-heartedness. Number 3. Paul Burrell Paul Burrell, who served as a butler to Princess Diana for many years, has shared his concerns about Meghan Markle's influence over Prince Harry. Burrell, who's witnessed the inner workings of the royal family firsthand, suggests that Meghan's changed Prince Harry significantly, steering him away from his roots and traditional royal responsibilities. He describes Meghan as molding Prince Harry into someone who aligns more closely with her values and aspirations, which according to Burrell, may not be entirely beneficial for him or the royal family. Burrell's comments are based on his belief that Meghan's presence has caused a shift in Prince Harry's priorities leading to the couple's decision to step back from their royal duties and relocate to the United States. His insights carry weight due to his intimate knowledge of the royal family, though some critics argue that his views are based on a traditionalist perspective that doesn't account for Prince Harry and Meghan's desire for a different life. Number 4. Thomas Markle Thomas Markle, Meghan's father, has been vocal about his strained relationship with Meghan, particularly after her marriage into the royal family. He shared his heartbreak over their estrangement, painting a picture of a daughter who, according to him, has become unrecognizable. Thomas claims he felt used, especially after Meghan allegedly distanced herself from him post-wedding. He's often expressed regret over how things turned out, warning others about the possibility of being discarded once their usefulness is exhausted. Thomas has highlighted instances where he feels Meghan's been less than truthful about her family and upbringing suggesting that there's more to her than meets the eye. His repeated pleas to reconnect have been met with silence, further fueling his narrative that Meghan is not who she seems. Number 5. Lady Colin Campbell Lady Colin Campbell, a Jamaican-born British writer and socialite, has been a prominent critic of Meghan Markle since she entered the royal family. Known for her outspoken nature and deep connections within the British aristocracy, Campbell's consistently questioned Meghan's behavior and motives. In her book, Meghan and Prince Harry, The Real Story, Campbell accused Meghan of being manipulative and of causing a rift between Prince Harry and the rest of the royal family. 
She's described Megan's actions as disgraceful and has pointed out what she sees as a deliberate attempt by Megan to break Prince Harry away from his family and royal duties. Lady Colin believes that Meghan's actions have caused unnecessary tension within the royal family, and her warnings have been clear. Meghan's ambitions might be at odds with what the monarchy stands for. Number 6. Catherine, the Princess of Wales Even Catherine, the Princess of Wales, has reportedly had her concerns about Meghan. While Catherine's never publicly spoken ill of Meghan, reports suggest there was tension between the two from the start. Insiders claim that Catherine was wary of Meghan's ambitions and questioned whether she truly understood the responsibilities that come with being a royal. Catherine's reserved nature and commitment to duty reportedly clashed with Meghan's more modern approach to royal life, leading to a relationship that was polite but distant. While Catherine has remained tight-lipped, sources close to her have hinted that she saw red flags early on. Concerned about Meghan's rapid rise within the family and her impact on Prince Harry, Catherine's subtle warnings were perhaps more understated than others, but no less significant. Number 7. Prince William Prince William, Prince Harry's older brother, also expressed caution when Meghan came into Prince Harry's life. According to reports, William advised Prince Harry not to rush into a relationship with Meghan, urging him to take things slowly and really get to know her. This advice reportedly didn't sit well with Prince Harry, who was deeply in love and eager to move forward. William's concerns weren't just about Meghan, but also about the rapid pace at which their relationship was progressing. As someone who understands the pressures of royal life, William's warnings came from a place of care for his brother and a desire to protect him from potential pitfalls. The tension this created between the brothers has been well documented but it's clear that William's intentions were rooted in genuine concern for Prince Harry's well-being. Number 8. Noel Gallagher Moving outside of the royal family, musician Noel Gallagher hasn't held back his opinions on Meghan Markle. Known for his brash style and outspoken nature, Noel has publicly criticized Meghan for what he sees as her negative influence on Prince Harry and the royal family. He's called out Meghan for allegedly driving a wedge between Prince Harry and his family, suggesting that her presence has done more harm than good. Noel's blunt warnings may come across as harsh to some, but he's adamant that Meghan's role in Prince Harry's life has led to unnecessary drama and division. As someone who's not afraid to speak his mind, Noel's criticisms are a reflection of his concern for the institution of the monarchy and its failure. Number 9. Sharon Osbourne Sharon Osbourne, a well-known talk show host and media personality, has also been disapproving of Meghan. Sharon's questioned Meghan's motives, suggesting that she's more interested in fame and publicity than in royal duties. She's pointed out instances where Meghan's actions seemed more aligned with celebrity culture than with traditions of the royal family. Sharon's expressed skepticism about Meghan's intentions, warning that her pursuit of fame could overshadow her responsibilities as a duchess. Her candid observations have sparked debates and discussions, but Sharon stands by her belief that Meghan's approach to royal life is more about personal gain than genuine commitment. Number 10. Prince Philip Prince Philip, the late Duke of Edinburgh, was reportedly another voice of caution regarding Meghan Markle. According to insiders, Prince Philip had reservations about Meghan's suitability as a royal and expressed concerns about her intentions. Known for his no-nonsense approach, Philip allegedly questioned whether Meghan was ready for the demands and scrutiny that come with royal life. He reportedly advised Prince Harry to be cautious, emphasizing the importance of understanding the weight of the crown. Prince Philip's warnings may have been rooted in his decades of experience within the royal family understanding better than most the pressures and expectations that come with the role. Number 11. Megyn Kelly Megyn Kelly, a former news anchor and journalist, has been openly critical of Meghan Markle, especially following the Sussex's high-profile interviews and media appearances. Kelly's described Meghan as a narcissist, who's more concerned with her public image and personal brand than with the responsibilities that come with being a member of the British royal family. According to Kelly, Meghan's actions, such as her tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey, reveal a pattern of behavior. 
that prioritizes her own narrative and grievances over the traditions and expectations of the royal institution. Kelly argues that Meghan's tendency to frame herself as a victim is manipulative, painting a picture of someone who's focused on self-promotion rather than service. Number 12. Meghan's Former Friends Several of Meghan's former friends have also spoken out, sharing their experiences and warnings. Many of these friends claim that Meghan cut ties with them once she entered the royal spotlight, accusing her of being opportunistic. They've described feeling abandoned and used, suggesting that Meghan's friendships were often based on what people could do for her. These former friends warn that Meghan's actions reflect a pattern of behavior, where personal relationships are secondary to her ambitions. While some might see this as a natural part of moving forward in life, others feel it reveals a more calculated side to Meghan. Number 13. Chrissy Teigen Chrissy Teigen, known for her candid social media presence, has also been critical of Meghan. Particularly around Meghan and Prince Harry's interview with Oprah, Chrissy was outspoken on Twitter, questioning the narrative that Meghan presented. She challenged the portrayal of Meghan as a victim, suggesting that there might be more to the story. Chrissy's warnings were less about Meghan's character and more about questioning the narrative being pushed to the public. Her criticism sparked conversations about the complexity of Meghan and Prince Harry's story, encouraging people to think critically about what they see and hear. Number 14. Meghan's Former Agents Industry insiders, including some of Meghan's former agents, have also weighed in with their insights. These agents have hinted that Meghan's drive for fame and success sometimes came at the expense of personal relationships. They've described her as ambitious, with a clear vision of where she wanted her career to go. While ambition is not inherently negative, these insiders warn that Meghan's focus on her career could sometimes overshadow her personal connections. Their warnings suggest a single-minded pursuit of success, which, while admirable to some, might come across as ruthless to others. Number 15. Wendy Williams Wendy Williams, another talk show host known for her bold opinions, has consistently expressed skepticism about Meghan's motives. Wendy's warned her audience to be cautious about buying into Meghan's image, suggesting that her actions are more about status than substance. She's repeatedly questioned whether Meghan was truly interested in the responsibilities of royal life or if she was more attracted to the title and the attention it brings. Wendy's warnings are a reminder to look beyond the surface and consider the deeper motivations that might drive public figures. Number 16. Meghan's Co-Stars Several of Meghan's co-stars from her acting days have also shared their observations. While many praise Meghan for her work ethic and professionalism, there have been whispers of diva-like behavior from her early acting days. Some have hinted that Meghan could be demanding or difficult to work with, raising eyebrows even before she became a duchess. These accounts suggest a complex personality that's both driven and determined, but perhaps not without its challenges. The warnings from her co-stars add another layer to our understanding of Meghan, showing that there might be more to her than meets the eye. Number 17. Candace Owens Candace Owens, a well-known political commentator and conservative pundit, has been a vocal critic of Meghan Markle. Owens has accused Meghan of being manipulative and suggested that her actions are calculated attempts to bring negative attention to the British royal family. She's criticized Meghan for portraying herself as a victim while simultaneously taking steps that Owens believes are designed to create division and controversy. In several interviews and social media posts, Owens has referred to Meghan as a manipulator and narcissist, arguing that she's more interested in fame and attention than in fulfilling any royal duties. Owens' critiques are often grounded in her broader conservative views, which emphasize traditional values and skepticism towards what she sees as modern victimhood culture. While her comments have sparked considerable debate, they echo sentiments from other public figures who question Meghan's intentions and authenticity. Number 18. Julie Burchill Julie Burchill, a British journalist and author known for her provocative writing style, has not held back in her criticism of Meghan Markle. Burchill's argued that Meghan is ill-suited for royal life, describing her as completely out of her depth. 
she believes that Megan's personality and behavior are at odds with the traditional, reserved demeanor expected of a member of the British royal family. In various columns and social media posts, Birchall's accused Meghan of being more interested in celebrity status than in the responsibilities that come with being a duchess. Birchall's comments often emphasize the contrast between Meghan's Hollywood background and the centuries-old traditions of the monarchy. While Birchall's opinions are often controversial and sometimes divisive, her critiques resonate with those who believe Meghan has not fully understood or respected the unique role she stepped into when marrying Prince Harry. Number 19. Angela Levin Angela Levin, a seasoned royal biographer, has closely followed the British royal family for years and has frequently voiced her concerns about Meghan Markle's influence on Prince Harry. Levin's described Meghan as a very determined individual who tends to get what she wants, often highlighting what she perceives as Meghan's desire to reshape royal traditions to fit her own narratives. Levin's criticisms are rooted in her belief that Meghan and Prince Harry's actions, particularly their decision to step back from royal duties, have caused significant upheaval within the royal family. Levin also suggests that Meghan's impact on Prince Harry's been profound, noting that he appears to have shifted away from his previous roles and responsibilities. As a biographer with direct experience covering the royal family, Levin's insights offer a unique perspective on the internal dynamics and potential long-term implications of Meghan and Prince Harry's choices for the monarchy. So what do you think? After hearing what these people had to say about Meghan Markle, do you think they were onto something? Or is there more to the story? Do you believe these warnings about Meghan were justified? Or do you think she's been misunderstood? We'd love to hear your take in the comments below. If you found this video interesting, make sure to give it a like, share it with others, and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye!